the array concat method allows you to merge two or more arrays into one new array which will be returned. You can see in our example we have A and B which are both an array and if we want to create a new array, for example C, we can do A.concat B. And now if we console.logging C, you can see in the right we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 which are all the elements inside the two arrays. Let's say you want to add one more array in this new array we're creating. For example D, it can be 7, 8, 9 and you can pass it in as parameter for the concat method and now the new array will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The good thing with the concat method is that it won't change the array which are used, in our example A, B and D. So if you console.log A and then B and D here, you can see that the arrays remain unchanged. This is very useful when you're working, for example, inside a function and you want to take in an array as a parameter, but you don't want to change that array. You'll create a new copy of that array and then you'll manipulate the new array. If you don't pass anything for the concat method as a parameter, you will get a shallow copy of the A array. So basically, it's the same array as A, but it's a copy of it. Now, if we're changing C, for example, we're pushing something for console.log C. You can see that C is 1, 2, 3, 4, but A will remain the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is A, 1, 2, and 3. Basically, this will create a shallow copy of the array. Let's clear the console. And we can also use the concat method as a push method. If we're adding here numbers as parameters, we can console.log C now, and it will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So it will work as a push method. The only difference is that if you're adding an array inside, it will be appended at the end. Here we're creating A, which is 1, 2, 3. We're adding 1, 2, and then we're appending A again, 1, 2, 3. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!